So you guys probably already know that I'm a big fan of Chihiro's lights. I think I have about six of them in total right now. And uh, this is the newest one. This is the WRGB2 Pro. Uh, this one was just released. I don't think it's for sale anywhere just yet. So today we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Uh, we're gonna set up on one of my tanks, connect it to the, to the app, see what's new. Um, but most importantly, we're gonna compare it to the regular WRGB2, which I have right here. So we're gonna compare it, see what the differences are, see if it's worth the upgrade or not. Because it's starting to feel a little bit like your, uh, like your iPhone, you know, the iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro Max. And then you have the Chihiros doing exactly the same thing. Chihiros WRGB, WRGB2, WRGB Pro. Okay, so before we open up the Pro Light, uh, let's take a quick moment to appreciate the, the regular WRGB2 because this is a very good light, guys. I mean, it's now almost two years old. Um, I received it in May 2020, so I've been using it for just over a year and a half now. And this is still one of my favorite lights. Like, for the past year and a half, I never had any issues with it. It's super powerful, like, I almost never run it on 100%. And it's just very easy to work with. I'm really, I really like the Chihiro's app, it's very convenient. And, I mean, I get to test quite a lot of lights, but this one is still very high on, on top of my list. So, if you're into aquascaping, if you're into the planted tank hobby, then and you're looking for a good quality, not too expensive light, then yeah, I definitely recommend the Giro's WRGB2. So that's enough of that, let's open the, the Pro Light. All right, here we go, let's do this. Let's open this up. And there it is, the WRGB2 Pro. Uh, manual, uh, authentication, certificate. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at the technical specifications. So I have the Pro 45, so it's for 45 to 60 centimeter aquariums. It's 56 watts and it has 50 LEDs. Total luminous flux is 5,000. So this is a very, very powerful light. Uh, this device requires an app to be used on your phone. But yeah, we, we know that already. So let's put that aside. Let's take a look at the light. Nice black color, same as the regular WRGB2. First thing I noticed is that this, this thing is a little bit different compared to the regular WRGB2. Um, yeah, that's not really important, so let's move on. What do we have in here? I guess that's the power supply. Yeah, just a regular power supply, nothing, nothing unusual about that. And then lastly, we have this little pouch right here. I guess in here we have the brackets. Yeah, here we go. That's the, the, the bracket. So this one is the uh, adjustable version. So this one can be used on a cram from 45 to 60 centimeters. And the light will also come in a um, pendant version and in a version with uh, metal brackets. That's probably not adjustable. So I'm just quickly gonna set up these brackets with a light and then we can switch it on and then we can start comparing it to the regular WRGB2. All right, here we have them both uh, side by side. Pro, normal. So straight out of the box, they look pretty similar. Actually, they look exactly similar. Um, the only thing that's different, like visually straight away, is the um, the sides. So if you look at these sides here, there's like uh, one, two, three slots. And over here is like, see there, it's very fine. So the body is a little bit different. Um, other than that, I don't really see any differences just just like that. So I just qu quickly measured both units. Uh, they're both exactly 45 centimeters long. The normal number two is basically exactly 14 centimeters wide. But the Pro is like 14 centimeters and two or three millimeters. So there's a small difference there. So the Pro is two or three millimeters wider. 
Now, if you flip these units around, there's a small difference as well. So the pro unit is yeah, almost exactly 10 centimeters, maybe 99 millimeters. But the regular WRGB2 is almost 11 centimeters wide. So the old light is one centimeter wider than the new light. I think that's interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much the only visual differences I can find so far. So now let's set up this new light. Let's connect it to the power and see what else we can find. Okay, both lights are on. Um, super, super bright in here right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect a new light to the Chihiro's app so we can control it. So I'm gonna open the My Chihiro's app. And then we're gonna start searching for the new device. Press the plus button. Here we go. So the WRGB Pro 45 is popping up on the radar. So if we click on that. Okay, so both lights are now connected to the app. We see the regular RGB2 on the top right here and the new one is on the bottom left. Uh, before we get into, app, to, into the app and see the differences, uh, let's first quickly go over the new specs and compare them to the old specs. So I'm just going to quickly go to Instagram. I saw a post from Chihiros. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. So here are the new specs and the old RGB 245 was 49 watts and the new one is 56 watts. So we have a 7 watt increase and the old one had 3600 lumens and the new one has 5000 lumens. So that's a 1400 lumen increase. The, that is crazy. Uh, I think the amount I'm not sure about the amount of LEDs. I think the amount of LEDs stayed exactly the same. So yeah, it's just more powerful. A 7 watt increase and a 6, 1400 lumen increase as well. So it should be a lot more powerful actually. So let's now open the app, see the differences there. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Okay. First things first. Right now we have four channels to play with. So now we have the, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, and the white channel. The white channel is new. We did not have this with the, with the old number two. And what's also new is now on top of the screen, we see the power usage. I think this was also already available with the Vivid app, but I've never, I've never tried the, the Giro's Vivid. But that is new here, so we see the, the power usage, so right now it's off, so we're using 0 watts. If we just select a random program, so let me click on fish. So now we're using 54 watts, so we have 120% red, 80% green, 130% blue, 75% white. So that is pretty much 100% power. Uh, let's go with green. Okay, so all these... All these different programs are basically scaled to the maximum intensity. Okay. So we're going to play a little bit with that when it's, when it's on top of the aquarium, of course. Um, yeah, I think that's the only thing that's really new. Yeah, I mean, it looks a little bit new here on the, on the auto screen as well. So basically the two things that are new is that we can now also play with the white channel and we see the power usage, usage on the top of the screen. Those, those are basically the two things. So I think we should um, put this light on top of the aquarium and then we can uh, see the differences there.
All right, guys, that's the first look at the new WRGB2 Pro. The design stayed pretty much the same, just a bit more powerful, a bit more controllability with the white channel and a bit different layout in the app. So probably in a few weeks, I will do a bit more of a detailed review of this light when I have a bit more time with this, uh, with this unit. So let me know in the comments if you already own a WRGB2 and do you see yourself considering upgrading to the newer version? Let me know in the comments, very curious about that. But that's it for now. Don't forget to smash that like button. See you guys next time. Take care.